machine coding refers to the programming of code in a way that minimises its energy consumption. We recommend that the principles of green coding are incorporated into the design of coding going forward in order to balance functionality with energy usage. We know that the telecoms industry has a large role to play in reducing global carbon emissions. Lots of things it can do in this respect, so use more automation, leverage more renewables, but it can also consider ways to reduce the amount of energy required to power its operations in the first place. So as software applications are instructed by lines of code that have to be processed, the more code that needs to be processed, the more energy emissions that this can give rise to. Most code is actually open source, which means that it's not specifically tailored for certain applications, so that means there's a lot of redundant code involved. So it uses up unnecessary processing power and therefore unnecessary emissions. I'm going to talk through three examples of how coding can work to become greener. So the first way is to enable the use of intelligent orchestration of workloads to move them where there's greater availability of renewable energy. The second one is to reduce granular energy consumption through silicon aware coding. So some modern chipsets have inherent energy management capabilities. So for example, they can shut down cores and restart them in microseconds. So if developers can leverage these capabilities when writing code for workloads in the first place within the RAM, this can have a significant impact on the amount of energy that's used. The third one is applications that run on distributed cloud which can minimise the volume of data that is transported over the network. So for example, some CDNs that can cache the content locally to the user, that means that fewer workloads are routed back towards a central cloud, which is another example of a way an application and workload can be um, programmed to reduce overall energy consumption. So the next steps for an organisation looking to leverage these green coding principles so the first way would be to offer training on green coding practices and principles to new and existing engineers to ensure that they're minimising superfluous lines of code. The second thing that can be done is to incentivise software engineers within the organisation to you know, follow through with these practices. And the third way is to embed a culture of efficiency across the entire business and organisation, making it you know, the concern of all business units to focus on this.